It's very really interesting that they try to blame the uh, the shops now. Um, <clears throat> what's the age? What's the age of the site? Because the talking point started about a week ago. Right. Well, I saw the link. Um, the link came through via an email to me today. Um, so it's linked uh, in a from on Spox. I'm going to have to try and pull up that email very quickly. Um, it came right. It, it was. Um, yeah, it was an email from, um, it was a newsletter, the Business Insider newsletter, and it was actually to do with Google um, and a few other links. And one of the links that I noticed was um, about this Microsoft uh, Windows Phone 7 fan who um, had created a website. So, yeah, it, it just came through to me today, quarter past ten according to this as well. Um, so trying to desperately catch up, that was one of the things that instantly drew me to uh, to that particular article. Um I mean, it goes without saying, I think, um, that we, we've discussed Windows Phone 7 and a lot of the other, um, or we've discussed Android, especially to a... It is pretty degree. important, I should, should point mm. out. I saw some uh, sales figures uh, a few days ago, and I should uh, probably give some attribution here to uh, Robert Poxon, who's the, the person who wrote about this. Uh, the sales figures suggest that about 450 million phones or smartphones are sold every year, uh, 50, I think 50 million tablets and something like 350 uh, desktops. So you're talking about a situation where the phones and the tablets are selling about 50% more than desktops now. Uh, lots of the money goes towards things like even the, uh, you know, the carriers and uh, uh, phones upgrades, whatever. So you know, being Buying applications for a phone, for example, is also a source of revenue. Uh, so, so again, we, we would be expected to talk about Linux in the context of uh, of, uh, of the desktops, but increasingly now people are using phones, and the phones are more, more and more capable of even accessing sites and stuff like that. Uh, and the <laughs> and if we're talking about companies like Microsoft and Apple versus something like Android. We, we couldn't just speak about desktops and pretend the phone is just like a small thing because it's it's actually becoming a bigger business and a bigger concern and a bigger thing even in the news than, than in some cases the desktop. People look at the desktop as something that would always be there uh, but probably not be the only form of uh, computer being used. Uh, I mean, I, the, only, the only other thing I would add is if anybody listening out there who uh, has a Windows Phone 7 in, and is a, a, a Somebody who would like to ad- advocate its uh, excellence, certainly get in touch with us, uh, Bytes Media at bytesmedia.co.uk, and uh, let's know why it's so great and what it exactly offers that uh, no other smartphone on the market can do. Um, the one question I've got, Roy, and I don't particularly want to spend a lot of time with Windows Phone 7, but the one question I've always had, because I've never used one of these devices um, properly, I've had maybe a few minutes with it, but there's a black border that goes down the right-hand side of the screen. Um, it appears to only have one icon on it and doesn't seem to serve any purpose whatsoever. It's literally a black border that takes up probably nearly a quarter of the screen. Um, it, it looks like a taskbar, but it's missing icons. Um, it's just black. I want to know, do, do you know what the function of that is? Because it just looks to me like a waste of space. It's uh, uh, On the Windows uh, Tattletale site, you can actually see a very good example of what I mean, and there'll be a link in the show notes, but I can't see what purpose that is serving. <coughs> Apart from using up valuable screen space with a, with a black border, I could probably make a joke about it because uh, yeah, to tell you the truth, I haven't looked very carefully at the interface so far. Um, what I do know about the interface is that it's a uh, <coughs> a big departure from what used to be the uh, imitation of Windows on mm-hmm. desktop being being slapped onto the uh, you know for the all interest of you know being familiar to the user. Uh, the, the I think that around the the release of 6.5, they had some mock-ups being out there about trying to space things differently and laying out the menus differently, but eventually I know Microsoft settled on something that resembles the Palm OS, which then kind of inspires other things, uh, including Apple's and Google, you know, where you scroll down with the uh, basically boxes of applications being put in the matrix. Um, in the case of Microsoft, I, I only know that the way they market this stuff, it's usually something to do with like a diary clock and maybe a few uh, things that have nothing, no resemblance to Windows in many ways. I don't know, know what they call it, Windows. I think it's to do with the fact that they still use the brand and uh, change the mobile to phone for whatever reasons. So 
probably you'd imagine that they weren't even thinking about putting it on tablets in the same way that iOS and uh, and Android could, could, can actually be versatile enough to even be put on a desktop. So that just shows you they they, they kind of fail to think about scalability to make things work in a uh, small and large separately, but not at the same time. They don't really think too much about scale. Uh, and, and that's going to bite them, especially when it comes to tablets, because it's just not going to work too well with Windows. Um, well, we'll end on just this uh, very last section of the introduction to the Tattletale site, and like I say, hopefully um, we'll have maybe this uh, this gentleman on, or even somebody who can uh, champion the Windows Phone 7. But the, the other part that sat very uncomfortably on, uh, to me with this site was they asked a series of questions on its intro page. Um, did the salesperson seem knowledgeable about the phone? And they're talking about Windows Phone 7 here. If any user has gone into a shop to buy a phone and asked about the Windows Phone 7, were you able to actually experience the phone? We want to know. We want to make it easy for you to to add the store and rate it. We want, we'll take care of making sure that carriers see it and maybe they'll be embarrassed enough to fix it. It seems to me like market research, um, almost with those questions. It well, seems. I, I was wondering, the person was maybe a PR agent who used to be an MVP well, and doesn't say anything to you. I have to be fair to him. Um, about an hour ago, I asked him the direct question, are you employed either directly or indirectly by Microsoft? And he has responded, and it's only fair I, I give his response, no, not employed by Microsoft at all. Now, but I'll have to ignore, take, ignore the rest of the question. I'll, I'll have to say I'll face value at the moment. Certainly, I'd like to get him on the show. We'd like to speak to him. Um, I would hope if he is a, a, a Windows Phone 7 uh, advocate and champion, he would relish the opportunity, any opportunity to uh, t- to put forward uh, his views on Windows Phone 7 and give it a, a little bit more uh, exposure. So um, we'll, I'll be sending him an e- email very shortly and um, see if we can get him on the show. Moving on, Roy, I'm sure you've got um, yeah, more interesting subjects. Of, sh- yeah, I'll just make a very minor point, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, of course. The thing about incentives to promote Microsoft, sometimes the... Uh, well, you'd assume that the person has been paid to do something, but sometimes people do something with the expectation of being paid in the future. So, uh, in the case of certain journalists that I know how they used to promote Microsoft, and analysts were basically giving lectures and everything in favor of Microsoft, they got a job as a subsequent of, uh, of what they did for Microsoft beforehand. So, uh, in some cases, you do have to question, is the person actually looking to be employed as a result of doing certain activities? Okay. And an MVP is like one step towards being like a Microsoft PR agent or something. Right? It makes it easier. Well, right. I'm, I'm going to take this chap on face value for the present time, and I'm going to um, go with the fact that he's a an average end user, and that uh, this is his uh, this is his uh, opportunity to promote Windows Phone 7 at the moment. So let's hope uh, we'll get some feedback from him uh, in the near future. Um, I hope you've got some more. Uh, interesting topics to uh, on your list Roy because I'm still quite out of touch after the last week at work so uh, I'll uh, throw it over to you and uh, put myself in your capable hands. Sure uh, one of the uh, to me it's personally interesting to note that the GPL is under a uh, sort of a, I'm not sure if it's a smear campaign and maybe it's true maybe it's not true but the companies which have some roots and associations with Microsoft have been trying to tell us that the GPL uh, is declining in some ways, or actually trying to discourage developers from using the GPL alone based on all sorts of uh, criteria that they chose to, to kind of make their case. Uh, and this isn't exactly new in general, that companies who are usually associated with proprietary software and enemies of the GPL and enemies of GNU, you know, more broadly. Uh, it's not exactly new, but this one is the latest attack and it's coming from several companies. Uh, the issue I have with their claims is that they don't want you to, sh- to, to see the data that they use, and they don't really want to tell you the methods too well. And that, that's usually in, in indicative of a uh, of a uh, of them having something to hide, or them seeing the possibility that we will be able to use the data to show exactly the opposite, and then we'll show them to be liars, basically. Uh, and this is an ongoing debate because yesterday, a uh, Bradley Kuhn from the FSF, he was uh, challenging uh, for a uh, an analyst from the four four. It's, I think it's called four four five one group. 
uh, to get a, to get hold of some data which isn't coming from companies associated with Microsoft and do some research based on that. Uh, and he still argues with them basically over the validity of the data and the method.